presenting all his loving sounds like a title of a song Turn to Shakespeare's sonnets, especially the 1609 quarto. Sonnet number 40. Take all my loves, my love. Yeah, take them all. What hast thou then more than thou hadst before? No love. My love, that thou mayest true love call. All mine was thine before thou hadst this more. Then if for my love thou my love receivest, I cannot blame thee for my love thou usest. But yet be blamed if thou this self deceivest by willful tale of what thyself refusest. I do forgive thy robbery, gentle thief. Although thou steal thee all my poverty, and yet love knows it is a greater grief to bear love's wrong than hate's known injury. A serious grace in whom all ill well shows. Kill me with spites, yet we must not be foes. Sonnet 40 has some very simple puzzles. One is a simple adding puzzle. There's not so hidden instruction. Take all my loves. These words, because they're an example of parasologia and also polyptyton. Parasologia is an excessive repetition of the same word. Polyptyton is using the same word in different forms. Then add the sum of these words. Once again, it's parasologia. He playfully assumes that the reader does not quite understand. No love, my love. He was to add all of the my loves together. She can recall her true love. would then be able to call the poet by his true name. A diversion for those who haven't seen Days and Woes. A similar counting puzzle in Romeo and Juliet. Seventy-three of the first folio. The result is the same number. Add the number of woes to the number of days. This is equation one. Add the gematria values. lowercase letters for equation two. The result of equation two should be another digit sum number. This is on it, 40. We'll present some more gematri sum equations. Add these gematria values again 
the lowercase for the smaller uppercase letters. This is equation two from our sonnet 40. We subtract the sonnet number to get a digit sum number. For equation three, we add all of the uppercase letter values to the sonnet number. Or another digit sum number. Equation four. Add the smaller uppercase letter values again. The value of the decorative T. Near number. Here is another puzzle hiding in plain, plain sight. It's equation five, and it's the second last sentence in the sonnet. We add the gematria values in the box. We add the number of lowercase words. A familiar number. In just a moment, I'll give you the solutions to all these equations. Here are the solutions. Equation one is 17. All that counting and subtracting just to get to 17. Equation two is 98. Equation three is 197. Equation four is 119, which is a multiple of 17. Equation five is 57, which is of course 17 plus the number of the sonnet. The sixth equation. We get the gematria sum of all the smaller uppercase letters and subtract from that the solution to equation number two to get 40. Here are the Romeo and Juliet solutions 17 and 197. Once again, we ask who is associated with 17 and 40? Edward de Vere, the 17th Earl of Oxford. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.